The strong force is one of the four fundamental forces in nature, along with electromagnetism, the weak force, and gravity. It's purely attractive, operates only at extremely short range, and works at two different size scales within atoms. At the level of an atomic nucleus, the strong force binds together the protons and neutrons, which would otherwise instantly fly apart due to the repulsive electromagnetic force between protons. On an even smaller scale, it holds together the quarks that make up protons and neutrons. So, ultimately, it's what's responsible for the stability of matter. Its huge power is also what's released in the process of nuclear fusion in the Sun and other stars, and of nuclear fission. As its name suggests, the strong force is the strongest of the fundamental forces. It's about a hundred times stronger than electromagnetism, a million times stronger than the weak force, and a hundred thousand trillion 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 times stronger than gravity. However, the strong force has influence over only very small distances. For anything larger than the nucleus of a medium-sized atom, about a hundred million times smaller than the width of a human hair, its influence quickly falls away, and other forces take over. The fact that the strong force is insignificant on larger scales is due to a quirk in how it operates. The photon, which transmits the electromagnetic force, has no electrical charge. But the particles known as gluons that transmit the strong force have what's called color charge. Because of this, they participate in their own force, and can interact with themselves. The result is that, whereas electromagnetism gets weaker when electrically charged particles are further apart, if you try and pull quarks and the gluons that bind them apart, the force between them gets stronger, and draws them back together. This phenomenon, known as asymptotic freedom, means that the effects of the strong force are never felt above a certain length scale. It also explains why neither quarks or gluons can exist on their own, at least in the present day universe. They only ever appear as part of larger composite particles such as protons and neutrons. The strength of the strong force is described by a fundamental parameter in the standard model of particle physics called the strong coupling constant. Knowledge of this important constant has improved with measurements and theoretical developments, but the uncertainty in its value is still orders of magnitude greater than that of the coupling constants for the other fundamental forces. We need a more precise measurement of the strong coupling constant to improve the precision of theoretical calculations of particle processes that involve the strong force, and we also need it to tackle deep unanswered questions. Could all of the fundamental forces be equal in strength at very high energy, pointing to a common origin? Could new unknown interactions modify the strong force under certain circumstances? A new measurement of the strength of the strong force has just been announced that takes its uncertainty to below 1%. It's come from a study of the strong coupling constant using the giant Atlas detector at the Large Hadron Collider. The focus of this study was Z bosons, the electrically neutral carriers of the weak force, which are produced in high-energy proton-proton collisions at the LHC. Z bosons are typically produced when two quarks in the colliding protons annihilate. In this process, the strong force comes into play through the radiation of gluons by the annihilating quarks. This radiation gives the Z boson a kick, the magnitude of which depends on the strong coupling constant. By measuring the distribution of Z boson momenta, and comparing it with theoretical calculations, Researchers have been able to determine the strong coupling constant 
with an uncertainty of just 0.8%. The result is the most precise determination of the strength of the strong force made by a single experiment to date. It agrees with the current world average of experimental determinations and state-of-the-art calculations known as lattice quantum chromodynamics. For comparison, the strength of the electromagnetic force is known with a precision better than one part in a billion. Nevertheless, the fact that we've now measured the strong coupling constant at the 0.8 precision level is a spectacular achievement.